What's up, peeps? Your boy Ricky Funes, also known as Trainer to the Stars. On this episode on Tengu's Boxing Talks, I personally myself want to introduce myself to you guys and tell you a little bit more about myself, uh, how I got into boxing, and how I got to become Trainer to the Stars. Before we get any guests, I want to be the first episode, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about myself. All right, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about myself. I was born in Honduras. Uh, Tegucigalpa is the capital in Central America. At seven years old, my dad decided to bring my mom, myself, and my younger sister to make a better life for ourselves here in, in Los Angeles. Uh, we came here. My dad and my mom enrolled me at this school called Van Nuys Elementary. And from there on, I started going to all the Van Nuys Junior High and Van Nuys High School. Um, at junior high, I started getting involved with with the gangs, uh, a gang called Barrio Van Nuys, and uh, my life ever changed since then. That, since that time, I hang around with the friends, and this is where I started getting involved in boxing. I was 14 years old, I think, about 13. I was walking one day from junior high after school. I was walking through this street called Van, uh, Friar Street, and I was walking with my friend Carlos and a few other friends. And I see this big gym. Well, I didn't know it was a gym at that time, but I saw this big mirror uh, window. So I decided as a gangster that I wanted to be at that time. I started tagging on the mirror and it's, and I put Daffy BVN. But little did I know that the following week when I came back to the same street, just to admire my work, this white boy comes out and he says, hey, are you Daffy, little Daffy? I go, no. And I'm looking at, at this tall white boy, and he goes, yeah, yeah, you are Little Daffy. Someone in the inside says that you are Little Daffy. And I go, no, no. So little did I know that from the inside, you could see outside, and from the outside, you can't because it's like a double-sided mirror. And uh, I was so scared, you know. You see this kid, I, I was 13 years old, and I was being so in denial. I didn't know who he was at the time, but he was a very famous Trainer, uh, he had trained the Rella brothers, and at the time he trained Michael Nunn, and uh, I didn't know much. Not, I didn't know much about boxing, so after that I got intrigued what what boxing is. After tagging on the window, and ever since Joe Goosen got stuck with me, and thirty six years later, they we're we're here. At fourteen years old, I started traveling with Joe. You know, we used to go to Big Bear. Uh, he. I was out in the street gang banging and messing around with my friends and I wasn't too deep into it gang banging or trying to kill people and all that but the mentality that I had is that I wanted to be like them and thank God I didn't go that far uh boxing changed my life uh it could, it kept me out of the streets but you know it didn't completely did a whole 360 then I started coming to clean the gym and uh try to be part of the, the Tengu's boxing family. At that time, I didn't know how fa familiar and popular Tengu's was. Um, but yeah, you know, my first training camp, it was in 1993. I still remember clear. It was Rafael Rellas, uh, who was getting ready to fight Freddie Pendleton for the IBF Championship, uh, IBF Championship of the World. Uh, Joe Goosen took me up to Big Bear for the first time in my life. I saw snow. It was crazy white. It was my first time. I never been out of the city or anything. And I, in my first camp, I get to go to Big Bear and see the snow and watch these world-class fighters train. And uh, that's what made me fall in love with boxing. And not only that, get, having a great relationship with uh, Joe Goosen, who to this day is my teacher and my mentor. And I'm still learning off him. And not only off Joe Goosen, but I like, you know, learning from different trainers like Freddie Roach is a big mentor as well. I love going to Wild Card, uh, Robert Garcia. Uh, those are, are quality fighters, uh, former fighters and quality trainers that I love following their steps. And so I could be able to apply that into to my fighters. 